With 31 seasons and counting on the air, The Simpsons is undeniably a television phenomenon. Both the longest-running American sitcom and animated program, the critically acclaimed cartoon is widely recognized as one of, if not the best shows of all time of its humorous satire of everything from politics and pop culture to everyday family life. In fact, throughout its nearly 700 episodes, creator Matt Groening and his team have been so on top of the country's cultural pulse that they've even managed to predict several major historical events, along with a few less momentous occasions. Here are 10 times The Simpsons made eerily accurate predictions about the future. Before we jump right into the video, make sure you have subscribed to our channel and turn on the notifications for more updates. Let's begin. Number 10. Faulty Voting Machines in this particular episode, Homer is inspired by the 2008 presidential election. Homer decided to vote and at the poll when Homer tries to vote for Barack Obama, only to have a voting machine record his selection as John McCain several times. Hey, I only met one of those votes for McCain. This machine is rigged. Soon, he realizes the machine is rigged. Years later, when Obama ran for a second term in 2012, a video footage emerged from Pennsylvania machine switching a vote from Obama to one of his Republican opponents, Mitt Romney. The machine was reportedly taken out of commission. Okay, now I'm wondering, did Donald Trump really become the president? Or was it a big mistake of a faulty voting machine? Number 9. Autocorrect Fails During a Springfield Elementary School assembly, Kearney asked fellow bully Dahl to make a memo to beat up Martin on his Newton. Apple's early attempt at a personal digital assistant. However, the machine translates the message into eat up Martha instead, foreshadowing the common messaging errors people blame on iPhone autocorrect technology. Well, technically, we were just making fun of the device. But hey, we are talking about the 90s, where they had no sophisticated devices like iPod or iPhones. They didn't even enter the market then. In fact, Nitin Gunarta, Apple's former director of engineering for iOS applications, revealed in 2013 that the Simpsons gag served as a rallying cry while developing the software for the iPhone's keyboard. If you heard people talking, they used the words like, eat up Martha. It was basically a reference to the fact that we needed to nail the keyboard. We needed to make sure the text input works on this thing. Otherwise, here comes the eat up Marthas, he told Fast Company. Number eight, the Nobel Prize. Another interesting one for the science geeks. Bang Holstrom may not have won the Nobel Prize in economics until 2016, but one Simpsons character was betting on him six years prior. In a scene from the season 22nd premiere in which Martin holds up a scorecard depicting his Nobel Prize betting pool with Lisa, Milhouse, and Database, the MIT professor is clearly marked in one of Milhouse's squares. Number 7. Disney Fox Takeover after a trip to Springfield, director Ron Howard pitches a screenplay that Homer wrote to producer Brian Glazer a 20th Century Fox. At the beginning of the scene, a sign could be seen at the Fox Studio lot that reveals the company is now a division of Walt Disney. In this episode, there is a guest spot from Alec Baldwin, Kim Basinger, and Ron Howard. One scene shows the outside of the 20th Century Fox Studio with the iconic logo plastered on a sign. Beneath the sign, it reads, A Division of Walt Disney. Well, technically, that's so precise as if the writer saw the buy happen. Cut to nearly 20 years later, and the sale is officially underway, with the news breaking that Disney has reached a deal to acquire $66.1 billion worth of Fox on December 14, 2017. Number 6. Siegfried and Roy's Tiger Attack in this episode, after Springfield decides to legitimize gambling, Mr. Burns opens a casino where German magicians Guttner and Ernst perform a routine. Tragically, a bit in which the animated duo is attacked by their tiger. It seems like the show writers were trying to spoof the long-running Las Vegas Siegfried and Roy show, but this incident portrayed in the show came to fruition 10 years later, when Roy Horn was mauled on stage by a white Bengal tiger, leaving him partially paralyzed and ending the long-running production, sadly, which wasn't good for his business although he luckily survived. On the commentary for the Season 5 DVD, the production team dismissed this incident as evidence of their green seeing abilities, saying that it was bound to happen sooner or later. But Roy was in difficulty, and the tiger was trying to drag him off stage so paramedics could treat him. To be honest, you should look at the video where he was a cub, he was looking so adorable and cute. Number 5. The FIFA Corruption Scandal in this show, Homer is approached by the World Football Federation representative to help to repair the organization's image. Although the person approaching him is never shown explicitly as an associate of FIFA, he is also shown brandishing a French magazine cover with the headline, Scandale de Football. And later in the episode, he's arrested, which is so similar to those of the real-life FIFA officials who are arrested on corruption charges about a year later. The words FIFA and corruption have been linked to each other for years now. 
but it wasn't so long for the law to link them side by side in a large and public scandal. And later in this episode, Germany loses to Brazil. Number four, President Donald Trump. In this episode, when Bart flashes forward into adulthood, viewers learn that Lisa not only becomes president, but inherits quite a budget crunch from her predecessor, Donald Trump. As you know, we've inherited quite a budget crunch from President Trump. How bad is it, Secretary Van Houten? The country is broke, as she asks her aides in one scene. How can that be? At the time, the real Trump presidency was still 16 years away. However, in 2016 interview with The Hollywood Reporter, writer Dan Greenery explained the joke was meant as a warning to the country. That just seemed like the logical last stop before hitting Brock Bottom, he said. It was pitched because it was consistent with the vision of America going insane. Well, looks like it's time the Simpson writers should get into politics with all the predictions. And I think they would make one hell of a political party. What if Trump really won due to the mistake of a faulty machine? Still, the show Simpsons is one hell of a show, man. It predicts things. Time travel takes place almost something like a sci-fi show. What do you personally think about this show? Let me know in the comments. Number 3. The God Particle or Higgs Boson If you're a science geek, then this is for you. This one is so insane, Simpson even predicted something in the scientific arena which sounds kind of crazy. The existence of the Higgs boson, or the God particle, is an equation that helps in explaining that everything in the universe has mass. The equation wasn't confirmed by physicists until 2012. According to the author of The Simpsons and Their Mathematical Secrets, Dr. Simon Singh, after Homer decided to become an inventor in the Wizard of Evergreen Terrace, he was pictured standing in front of a blackboard with an equation that predicted the mass of the yet-to-be-discovered particle. If you work it out, you get the mass of the Higgs boson that's only a bit larger than the nanomass of the Higgs boson actually is, he told The Independent. It's kind of amazing as Homer makes the prediction 14 years before it was discovered. Well, technically the credits don't belong to Homer, but to whoever wrote this equation. After all, looks like the master Uwe was right. There are no accidents. Number 2. NSA Spying Scandal In this episode, when the Simpson family is forced to go into hiding, following their escape from the EPA biodome in closing Springfield because Marge threatens to expose government mass surveillance on people and the film depicts a scene where the government officials are seen listening in on to private phone calls, trying to find intimidating statements or mass evidence against members of public. Later in this episode, Lisa warns her family to be careful about what they say. I don't know if you guys should be talking so loud. No, Lisa, it's not like the government is listening to everybody's conversation. But Marge assures Lisa that no one from the government is listening. They were unaware that the NSA was listening to their conversation, to know their whereabouts, and already planned to arrest them on the site. Within seconds, Marge and the kids are located by the NSA by listening in on one of their conversations. Six years after the Simpsons movie hits the big screens, Edward Snowden first blew the whistle on the government's mass surveillance of Americans' phones and internet records. He also released classified NSA documents revealing that the NSA was involved in surveillance tactics and programs. They confessed to recording calls and keeping track of emails, one of the many scandals Simpsons has predicted. And at number one, the Osaka flu. In 1993, The Simpsons aired the episode Marge in Chains. The plotline featured the citizens of Springfield dealing with the virus known as the Osaka flu, similar to the coronavirus. And many characters in the show got infected by the virus. And this is not the only episode we're dealing with which predicted the future. And later in this episode, when the people go on writing to demand a cure for the virus, a swarm of killer bees that could be likened to the murder hornets that recently hit the U.S. unexpectedly came into the picture. Meanwhile, on the other hand, during an interview with Hollywood writer, the show's co-writer Bill Oakley told that any comparisons to the storyline seem to invite the coronavirus are purely coincidental. These are very few cases where The Simpsons predicted something, Oakley says. It's mainly just coincidence because the episodes are so old that history repeats itself. Most of these episodes are based on things that happened in the 60s, 70s, or 80s that we knew about. And he further added, I don't like it being used for nefarious purposes. If you liked the video, give it a like and comment your views on your favorite Simpsons episode. Thanks for watching and have a great day.